If your garden beds feel heavy, compacted and lifeless, you're probably dealing with clay soil. And if you've noticed a complete lack of earthworms wriggling around under the surface, that's no coincidence. Earthworms are essential for healthy soil. They aerate the ground, improve nutrient cycling, and leave behind castings that supercharge plant growth. But when the soil is mostly clay, they disappear. At Botanical Bliss, we're all about bringing life back into the garden, starting with the soil. And that begins by understanding why worms hate clay and how you can fix it. The main issue with clay soil is poor aeration. Clay is made up of tiny, tightly packed particles that hold water too well and don't allow enough oxygen to reach plant roots or the soil life. Earthworms, like all living creatures, need to breathe. They absorb oxygen through their skin, and when the soil is waterlogged or suffocating, they simply can't survive. Clay soil also tends to dry into a hard crust, which creates an even more inhospitable environment. Earthworms avoid these conditions because moving through compacted soil is physically exhausting and dangerous for them. Another reason worms avoid clay is that it lacks food. Earthworms rely on decaying organic matter, living microorganisms, and root exudates to feed. In clay-heavy soils where organic matter is scarce and biological activity is limited, there's just not enough nourishment to sustain a worm population, and if there's no food, the worms don't stay. On top of that, many clay soils have an acidic pH, which isn't ideal for most earthworm species. The combination of low oxygen, poor structure, and minimal food makes clay soil feel more like a death trap than a home. Fortunately, the solution isn't complicated, it just takes consistency. To make clay soil more earthworm-friendly, the first step is to add organic matter. Compost, shredded leaves, and aged manure are ideal. These materials don't just feed worms, they also help loosen the soil and improve its structure over time. As organic matter breaks down, it encourages microbial growth, which in turn supports a thriving soil food web that attracts and sustains worms. Another effective strategy is using gypsum. This natural mineral doesn't alter soil pH but works to break up clay particles, helping with drainage and aeration. Unlike sand or gravel, gypsum doesn't worsen compaction when added in moderate amounts. If your clay is especially acidic, consider adding garden lime to raise the pH slowly. Just make sure to test your soil first to avoid overcorrection. Finally, mulch is your friend. Applying a thick layer of straw, chopped leaves, or grass clippings helps keep the soil moist, adds more organic matter over time, and creates a comfortable environment for worms to explore. As the mulch decays, it draws worms to the surface and encourages them to stay in the area. With patience and the right materials, your compacted clay can become a living, breathing soil that supports not just worms, but a vibrant and resilient garden. If this guide gave you the clarity you needed, be sure to subscribe to Botanical Bliss and share it with fellow garden lovers. Let's revive our soils together, one worm at a time.